Don't forget to claim your free gift, my top 10 guide to unlocking your full leader potential. Just click the link in the description. Hi there, welcome back to the Oversight Global Transformation Channel. My name is Anjali Kapoor. I am a leadership coach as well as the founder of Oversight Global. Now we are on a mission to help struggling managers embark on their unique transformational journeys to become the leaders that they are truly meant to be. So in today's video, we are exploring leadership consciousness. Now you see, leadership is not just a title, it's a way of being that requires constant growth and evolution. Great leaders are not just born, they are made through self-awareness, personal development, and a willingness to shed their fears and restrictions to become true visionary leaders. Now that's where the leadership consciousness comes into play. Now, Richard Barrett, who is the founder of a management consulting firm called the Barrett Value Center, developed the seven leaders of leadership consciousness as a way to help managers achieve leader self-actualization. Now, these seven levels are divided into two pyramids based on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Now, when I first learned about Maslow's hierarchy of needs in my own leadership journey, it helped me immensely in developing the understanding that I needed to manage the personalities of my staff more effectively. It also helped me to communicate more effectively as well as inspire, motivate, and engage my team better. Now, discovering that Maslow's hierarchy of needs can also be used to develop your leadership consciousness is yet another plus for this quite versatile tool that every manager should have in their arsenal. Now, the first pyramid focuses on personal values such as survival, security, power, control, while the second pyramid covers higher order emotional values such as creativity, purpose, and meaning. Now, before we take a closer look at each level and see where you're currently at in your conscious leadership development, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, be sure to comment below what level you are currently at in your conscious leadership journey. I would love to know. Okay, so the conscious leader levels. So the first level is surviving. It's what we call the crisis manager. Now at this level, managers are focused on what their own physiological and safety needs are and having being having those being met. They're also driven by fear and survival instincts and their actions are reactive rather than proactive. Maybe some of you managers know what, what I'm talking about out there. Crisis managers are always on the alert for potential threats and take a cautionary approach to leadership. Now, the next level is the relationship manager. Now, these managers at this level start to recognize the importance of teamwork and motivation. They focus on building positive relationships with their team and seek acceptance and emotional support from others. Relationship managers value loyalty and belonging and prioritize the needs of their team over their own. Now, the next level, which is the manager organizer, um, is at a level of self-esteem. Now, at this level, managers start to focus on their own self-respect, status, and recognition. They are driven by power and self-confidence and seek attention and appreciation from others. Manager organizers are skilled at organizing and delegating tasks and are motivated by success and achievement. Now, the next level, level four, is the transformational level that we call the facilitator influencer. Now, the facilitator influencer transformational managers focus on change, creativity, and innovation. They value self-fulfillment through new challenging experiences and are not afraid to take risks. Now, the facilitator influencers have a strong sense of purpose and are skilled in inspiring and motivating others to follow their lead. This level is actually where a manager starts to embark on their path of growing and developing into a true leader. The next level is the internal cohesive uh, level, which is what we call integrator inspirer leaders. Now, the manager leaders at this level take responsibility for the development and well-being of their team. They strive for social justice, harmony, and concern. Now, integrator inspirers prioritize the collective good over individual needs and work collaboratively to achieve the common goals of the group. Now, the next level is making a difference and is um, what we call mentor partner leaders. Now, the manager leaders at this level focus on making a positive impact on society. 
They value integrity, empathy, and leaving a positive legacy. Mentor partners are skilled at mentoring and nurturing the talents of others and are motivated by a desire to make a difference in the world. And then the final level, the top level, is the level of service. And it's what we call wisdom visionary leaders. Now, at this highest level of leadership consciousness, managers have become true leaders who serve others selflessly and without ego. They are driven by spirituality and a desire to serve humanity. Wisdom visionaries have a deep understanding of human nature and are skilled at creating a vision that inspires others to bring about positive change in the world. Now, the journey towards self-actualization through leadership consciousness requires self-reflection, personal development, and a commitment to grow. It's not an easy journey, but it's one that is essential for any manager who wants to become a true visionary leader. Now, in conclusion, leadership consciousness is a powerful tool that can help managers isolate their needs, shed their fears and restrictions, and become true visionary leaders. By aligning personal values with higher order emotional values, managers can achieve leader self-actualization and inspire others to do the same. So embark on your unique journey to become a true visionary leader today and start your journey towards leadership consciousness right now. So if you're ready to begin your journey of transformation to become a true leader, don't forget to grab your copy of my top 10 guide to unlocking your leader potential. It's your springboard to not only help you thrive in your management role, but embark on your journey into transforming into the leader you are meant to be. So just click in the link in the description below to grab your free copy. So until next time, stay safe, stay motivated, and keep striving to unlock your leader potential. Take care.